Hey, welcome to the second episode of Art Diaries. Um, today's video is going to be a vlog and I want you to come with me to see Cafe Takua, which is one of my favorite bands. And today's video is totally last minute, impromptu. Don't expect too much from this video. I totally just came up with the idea in the shower. I feel like I've just been getting really serious here on YouTube. And yeah, I was so nervous to make my last video that I even forgot to introduce that I'm making a new series called Art Diaries. And so today's the second episode. And I was talking to you in the last episode about like Hi Phoebe Oh hold on, I'm getting ready Hold on Be right there Okay, do you see? <laughs> do you see Phoebe at the end? Hold on Phoebe But anyway, this series is about like finding empowerment and healing through creativity And I was talking to you in my last video about being burned out and how I dealt with it That a big part of how I want to approach art moving forward is like about nourishing my soul and so that's why i'm going to this concert that's why i've you know i've always gone to concerts in the past um and they're obviously really fun and inspiring but with covid i really didn't go to a concert for like the last time was 2019 and i started going to concerts early this year and that's when i started like actually feeling like myself again so anyway come with me on this voyage to see cafe takua for the first time Okay, so I don't know how many of you follow me on TikTok, but I was sharing this in one of my videos that it's actually something I've never shared on YouTube because I'm like embarrassed about it. Oh, hold on, let me move it over. And I haven't shared with you guys that I'm, well, I'm quitting. Well, first of all, I haven't even shared with you that I smoke and then <laughs> let alone that I'm going to stop. But I have a new goal that... I want to stop smoking because, well, number one, it's an addiction. Um, the first time I ever did it was in high school and freshman year, so that's like 20 years ago. So that's one of the major reasons why I want to stop. I feel like stoners, we always say, oh, I can quit whenever I want. Well, clearly, oh, look, this is working as a mirror. We always say, oh, I really can stop whenever I want. Well, clearly I cannot. And I've known that for a while now. As I shared in, with you guys in the last video, I've been working really hard on just myself, not just with burnout, but just in general, like healing. Um, I feel like I want to get back to being optimistic and kind of just, yeah, just optimistic. I feel like when you're young, you have this like naive optimism and then life comes at you and you're like, oh, okay, yeah. A lot of life is not always gonna be perfect but um, in trying to heal that part of me I realized probably like a year ago a year and a half ago that I have to stop smoking and I obviously I took a break I took like a nine month break out but I didn't because well because it's my addiction and my coping mechanism and now I just feel like you know what? Oh my god. Well, now I just feel like, you know what? I want to do this because I'm tired of feeling like... You know what it is? It's like I find myself in situations that I'm like, why am I in situations in which I either don't like what I'm experiencing, I don't like the people around me, and it's because I'm numb 24... Well, not 24 seven, but like... Especially when I'm out there and socializing, I'm just numb. And so if I see like red flags in people, situations, places, things, it doesn't register. It doesn't like stay with me because I'm numb and because I have no short-term memory. <laughs> and so, yeah. And obviously, like I'm so embarrassed about it that that's why I have never shared it on this channel. And I'm sure that if you go back to watch old videos, you can see that I'm high. Like I can tell, obviously, going back when I... Sometimes I go and watch old videos just to see how I how it was and like from a more objective perspective and I'm like god I can tell that I'm high because my eyes you know and and I don't even like the my my video because not because just because I'm high but because I realized that I didn't do a good job but because I wasn't fully present when I was making it nor when I was editing it <laughs> now I have been I stopped smoking officially july 13th or 12th and it's the 22nd so i haven't smoked for a week over just over a week by the way i'm not gonna wear this shirt i'm just getting ready like my makeup and stuff and thankfully this week i've had like an okay time mostly i've just mostly been like 
struggling with how bored I am. Like, I'll, okay, I've realized the reason I smoke for so long is because I'm always trying to run away from being bored. And I don't know about you guys, but like, it's, it's kind of counterintuitive because when I'm bored, I make videos or I make a painting or, you know, I'm creative. I do things that are good for me. I go out there and I'm social. And so it's not good that I'm actually not feeling boredom. And it's like, why am I afraid of to be bored? Like, that's kind of weird. And this week has been okay, relatively okay, other than I just felt kind of low energy. But today I've actually been feeling kind of weird because this is the first time ever, ex other than my first concert when I was little, <laughs> that I'm going to a concert and I'm going to be like 100% sober. And like I keep saying, like that's so weird. Like I'm 35 and I've never been sober at a concert. And I was like, I don't know, just feeling kind of... I wasn't even excited when I woke up this morning and I, I'm always so excited to go to concerts so I know I'm kind of af afraid and I don't know like I didn't even know what I was feeling you know and there's nothing to be afraid of I don't like feeling like oh I have to depend on this substance to have fun because that's not true but then I started to look up you know how to the directions how to get there what food am I gonna eat because you can apparently bring your own food, so I'm gonna go pick up food on the way. Anyway, I feel like I should share with that, that with you guys because I shared it on TikTok and I kind of felt really bad because I don't know how long you guys have been watching, but I feel like if you have been watching me for a while, then I actually owe you, not owe you, but like you issue, well, it will be. <laughs> I just feel like if you have been watching my channel for a while, you actually deserve to know more about me than like, TikTok mostly pushes out your videos to new viewers and so that's why I'm sharing this on this channel, on this random ass blog. Oh and then I also felt like the reason why I want to stop smoking because like if I am, like let's say I just want to smoke less and then I smoke on the weekends and I, I go and be social then I'm numbing myself when I'm surrounded by people and then I wonder why I'm not a good judge of character or why I persisted with a friendship even though I saw red flags, etc, etc. So like I said, I just feel like it's the next, the next step in my own evolution and yeah, like I feel like it's been a long time, like I should have done this a really long time ago, but you know, that's our journey. So let me try to find some outfits now because I already blabbed on for so long. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I'm gonna wear my peluche converse. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys know the, the um, La Familia Peluche. So right now, my peluche converse are the most comfortable shoes. And I don't know if you are from LA, if you know the Hollywood Bowl. I was there years ago and you have to walk for so long just to get to like the stage area. Like, it's a huge venue. So I have to, whatever I wear has to match this. And this kind of goes, but like, you can see uh, when I sweat. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to wear something that you can't see my sweat because you know I'm gonna be going kind of um, feral. <laughs> I haven't done, I have, this is gonna be my exercise for the week because I haven't done, been so lazy this summer. So I'm definitely gonna be sweating. Okay, this is the first option and maybe I can put you up here. Maybe I'll wear this. The little thing I started doing again to find a little bit more joy in life is started to pay attention more about my clothes. Mm. It just matches a little too much. This would be perfect for the heat. But the tricky thing is gonna the show is at eight and it's um in the open open air and it's gonna get cold. So Hold on. Okay, option three is my Teddy Fresh. Okay, I just realized that I'm actually think I'm gonna wear my backpack. My aunt went to Peru and she brought me this little backpack. I wish I had been there. It is on my to-do list to go see um, Machu Picchu, so don't worry. So I think this one is eliminated because it's just too much of a clash. Okay, this is another option, but I don't know if it's kind of too serious, like... I'm thinking these might not even go together. Uh, 
Okay, I am sweating just wearing this, so I think this is eliminated. Okay, dress option, we got this. I only hesitate because TMI is that time of the month, so I'm kind of hesitant, but this is this is a front runner. This I have worn this to other concerts, and it's super comfy. Maybe I'll wear this because it kind of it goes but it's also like this is like sporty and this is a little like casual dressy and so maybe that's a nice contrast i still have like an hour and a half before i have to leave so <laughs> i changed back so i think I'm, I'm gonna wear the dress and i'm just gonna take my little um sweater i always give phoebe lots of pets before i leave is she's such a color bug and so i want to make sure that she knows she's loved and i'm just letting her know that she's a princess Okay, I'm so excited that I forgot that I didn't put lotion on <laughs> and I was like sweating by the window so I hope the audio is not too bad today as you can see I don't have my usual microphone I got this vlogging camera a while back and I never actually vlogged <laughs> but I have been using it for footage but it's supposed to have a good microphone so we'll see Breathe in, slow down Damn. Okay, guys, fuck it. I'm gonna go with the bedroom bag because just the other one's too big and it's ripped up. So, I have seen the girlies on TikTok do so much cool makeup. This is my attempt at TikTok makeup. <laughs> oh my god, I'm already sweating and I'm not even there. Okay, okay, you guys remember, like, what's in my bag? I never did that video. What's in my concert bag? First of all, wallet. Phone and GPS, sunglasses, hand sanitizer. I'm gonna fill it up. I don't care if people make fun of me, I'm still wearing my mask. I'm still hand sanitizing, washing as much as possible. Okay, yes, I'm really that obsessive. Okay, before COVID, I really didn't think about stuff like this, but here we are. Chapstick with SPF, and you guys know TMI. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. Why do we have to be ashamed of that? And so I can see far away. I love how this vlog is gonna be like two hours of me getting ready in like five seconds at the concert if I ever manage to get any footage. Also trying to fit my sweater. If you want to destroy my sweater. This is so cute. This is my first time wearing it. Okay, somebody on TikTok had the genius idea that you can substitute on your Crunchwrap Supreme, put beans instead of beef. And I'm like, I didn't know I, you could do that. I wasn't supposed to know that. I haven't eaten Taco Bell in so long because I'm trying to stay away from like too much beef, you know? Like I'm not fully vegetarian, but I'm trying as much as I can not to eat um, mostly just beef and, and chicken and, and fish as much as I can unless I have a craving or like eat it a few times a week max but ever since I found out last like a two, maybe it was two weeks ago that you can put beans on your crunch wrap supreme instead of beef I haven't been able to stop thinking about anything else day and night it's crunch wrap supreme thank god I actually don't live that close to a Taco Bell because I have to go out of my way to get the crunch wrap supreme so I'm not going every day, but I'm thinking about it every goddamn day. <laughs> and so I, I saw that you could take food into the Hollywood Bowl. So I got a Crunchwrap Supreme. I got a watermelon berry freeze. Which does taste kind of good and refreshing. I have water in my bag. I don't think I'm going to take that because it's too heavy. I'll leave it in the car. But yeah, we are almost there. We're halfway through to the Hollywood Boulevard. And I was actually just thinking like... You know, I told you guys I'm 34. It's so crazy that when we were growing up, like we were told like, you know, you need to have children by your mid thirties. And also like women, you couldn't even wear skirts. Like I shouldn't even be showing my knees anymore. And it's like, calm down. Like maybe it is cause I'm a millennial that can't buy a house, you know, and all I have is a cat. But it's like, it's not that big of a deal to be showing your knees just because you're 30. Like definitely not at work. Like don't wear a mini skirt at work. But like, I'm gonna be wearing mini skirts for as long as I want, you know? I don't even think this is a mini skirt, it's just that you can see my knees. 
but it's just so weird that like we made women like feel like grandmas when they were 30 like what yeah i was just thinking about that because i'm <laughs> i got up to wear my to buy my taco bell and i'm like you know in a short dress and with my peluche boots and you know i i don't want to look like an old woman you know i'm barely 34 like calm down so i don't know i just thought that was crazy the way we treat women like we still treat them badly <sighs> But like the way we made them feel about themselves, like, oh my god. It's just so sad, so I'm glad we're changing that. I don't know, can you guys even see me? I'm gonna go see up. It's a pretty legendary band, you guys. I don't know if you know Cafe Tacuba. They've been around and influential since the 90s. Like, literally one of my first memories is of my family debating whether they like their big single, Ingrata. That was like their big song that made them like well known around the world. And it's kind of a funny song like that's not their usual sound like even they admit that that record they were like experimenting a little bit more and so anyway one of my earliest memories is like my family debating whether they like that song or not and i loved it from day one and i have loved their music ever since and i always play their music like throughout all the eras of my life like elementary school high school college after college now okay, we're getting close but the point being i've been wanting to see this band literally for decades this is the first time i finally realized that they're on tour like when i can buy the tickets and now when they're like already in my city and i and it's sold out yeah super excited like i said i was nervous in the morning I was feeling nervous in the morning because I'm gonna be sober, whatever. But I'm super excited now. I don't think they're gonna play Ingrata because I looked up their set list. I don't usually like to do that, but I wanted to like, I'm not like their number one fan. So I just wanted to look up songs that I don't know so that, you know, I can sing them <laughs> if they play them. But, and apparently they don't in play In 1.2 miles. Turn left on North Highland Avenue. And I mean, I don't blame them. Imagine playing the same song for 30 years like that. That must be a lot. I was sharing with you guys in my last video that like, I've been feeling like pretty, you know, obviously I was burned out, but like I've been feeling like I realized I need to take in a lot more art since I am now consistently putting out art and very intentionally with a lot of focus through YouTube, TikTok. I've been realizing that YouTube and painting can no longer be my hobby because they're my discipline, they're my, they're my work. Even if, I, even if I'm not where I want to be with them yet, even if you are a generous person, like you will be depleted, like you need to take in more. So I want to be more intentional about going to um, concerts, going to art shows, like seeing other people's art because that's inspiring and figure i've been figuring out like how to go to like free stuff because you can't just be paying all the time like today's concert is a little bit expensive not not as much as like i tried to go to the arctic monkeys and it was 300 dollars for nosebleeds i saw the arctic monkeys and i had nosebleed seats years ago and it was 50 bucks and i felt like you know what that's pretty good for a nosebleed i'm not paying 300 dollars to go to see the arctic monkeys from the nosebleeds from the highest most far away seats like today i'm in the I'm, i have pretty good seats like in this i guess in the hollywood bowl if you have a membership you can have the picnic i don't know if they're picnic they're like box seats right at the bottom i'm in the next section which is like to the general public can um use those seats and it was pretty expensive at uh $113 I feel like that's pretty expensive but like I said they're such a legendary influential band and I've been wanting to see them for decades that it's worth it my friends didn't have didn't want to pay that for, <laughs> for Cafe Tacuba because they they don't like them that much so I'm on my own tonight which is also why I was worried because it's like I've never been on my own and sober at a concert so this is the first time I mean I've been on my own at a concert I've never been sober but which is like I like i keep saying it's pretty sad to think about and so yeah i'm gonna be more intentional about like just trying to nourish my my soul i'm also trying to be more intentional about nourishing my physical body <laughs> um but i guess that will be another topic for another video oh my gosh my camera's about to die so i will switch to my phone when i'm in the hollywood bowl and yeah see you soon we're here we finally made it better than cool.
As you can see, this venue is huge. I think it fits about 30,000 people. So that just lets you know how popular this band is that you've probably never heard of unless you're Latino, Latina, Latina. I totally got profiled because I have a small backpack. Like the cop with the canine totally went after me like, sir, I'm not raving tonight, calm down. The concert was so cool. They started with Duhamel, the LA Philharmonica. I didn't expect that at all. That like seven songs from the Philharmonica or pieces. So that was super cool. And then they play with Cafe Tacua and then halfway through is just Cafe Tacua and they play by themselves. And it was just so amazing. Hey you guys, okay so it's the morning after the concert. I got home at midnight so that's why I didn't do a final update and the concert was amazing. I just want to show you guys I got I actually never buy merch. But I've been telling you guys it's Cafe Tacua and they had a purple one, perfect. Anyway, I hope you liked this little video because like I said, it was just a quick impromptu vlog. And I forgot to say because my camera died in the middle of driving to the place. If you have any questions about how to have hobbies as an adult, let me know because I'm working on that video. And that should be the next video that I put out. So it's just going to be a chill day. I'm going to help my cousin. He wants to adopt a cat. Uh, so, but I'm not going to record that because I don't like to put cameras in people's faces um, that don't record their lives. So, But um, yeah, today should just be a chill day. It's also so funny that people have been talking about Venus retrograde. People are going to start coming back into your life. And I literally ran into somebody who in college. And I was like, okay, it is Venus retrograde. And it, was, it wasn't even like a romantic person, like interest. It was just like uh, somebody I took classes with. But people will be coming back into your life. Venus retrograde. Get ready from now until October. And yeah, apparently, I don't know if you guys are into astrology. I'm getting into it. Apparently in Vedic astrology, I am a Taurus ascendant. So I guess this, this Venus season is going to affect me <laughs> a lot more than maybe some of you guys. So I'm going to stay on the lookout. Thank you so much for watching. If you still are, subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. I guess we didn't really talk about that today, but <laughs> let me know in the comments if you like these little videos, if I should make more of these videos, or if you just like the other kinds of videos I've been making that are more like, I feel like they give you more value because I don't feel like my life is that interesting, so I don't really want to be recording my life. Um, I'm also an introvert, like I feel like, you know, it's too tiring to be filming your life constantly and I don't like, like I said, I don't like to shove cameras in front of people's faces that they don't record their lives because anytime you put a camera in front of people, they change their demeanor. So anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this or less videos like this. Let me know if you've seen Cafe Tacuba. Do you like them? Have you ever heard them? If you haven't heard them, I really recommend that you go on spotify and just check out some of their songs like maybe like their there's maybe there's their records that are like their biggest hits because they have like so many records they've been around for 30 years so yeah anyway i will see you in the next one